Oi, gamers. Rock Generation is here. He is blue. He is Atriox. Welcome to the semifinals. And Sir Liam White, the knight himself, playing as Atriox as well in the red. He's the red knight. His only comment is yes to say, oh, Rock, we have to stop meeting like this. That was a uh, pregame. So. Um, so both players had an identical start so far. Um, both started with a chopper. Both went harvester, harvester, extractor, uh, as well as uh, Liam is mixing it up, though. He's going to be taking his minis early to stop a mini steal. Whereas Rock didn't care about a mini steal, he cared about uh, Liam's power. Oh. Well, Liam does lose a grunt as a result, and a Rock's chopper? Where did it go? It's picking up the center power. All right, all right. Liam's picking up everything on the sides, but it looks like Rock is overall going to have more power this way. I mean, obviously, he's taking out the grunt. Uh, Liam already working on a raid camp. This is not a hero build. I repeat, this is not a hero build from Liam. Rock generation with a double extractor very quick. Uh, Ooh. Mini base is slow. So it might be, uh, you know, a hero based fast tech, which typically works really nicely. But, but you do like to see the... Um... The hero in addition to that, I think. So let's see if he does that. My mic is muted. We do have Liam going into a raid camp. Um, why is my controller not working? Oh no. There we go. Um, Liam is also as well going to be going into a Atriox hero. We do have a battle of the heroes, potentially. Yep, because Rock is as well going into hero. What a best. So, if Rock gets this expansion out, I feel like he's gonna have a super advantage against Liam here. Not only did uh, he delay some of his buildings, like uh, he, he delayed his seventh building here on his mini, um, but he's he's gonna boom here into tech two doing that. Uh, he can be able to out pump and he's gonna have a forward defense. Yeah, we even see a quick second base from Rock Gen. So where are Liam's units gonna be? He only has like one jump route because he had to crank out the hero too. It's not cheap. By the time he hits, Rock Gen might just be to you too. With a finished upgraded expo. Yeah, I mean he built an expo. Granted, he only has 14 population, but Liam only has 31 population right now. Liam does not have that much on the field. Um, as well, I will let you know, Rock built his War Council second and still got his hero at first. This is looking really good. I mean, Rock's overall macro in this entire matchup so far is Deller. Oh, I didn't see that uh, Liam actually got his upgrade first. Yeah, I would say his build order is okay. better, but uh, with, with Rock, Having this base not very secure right now, Liam might be able to take it down. It's just going to be a little bit uh, spicy. Oh, yeah, it's going to be real spicy. He's already losing uh, suicide grunts here to the Chosen. Both Chosen's duking it out now. Um, they are both entered the combat. Now, if Rock can get out a few engineers and park them in the back of the base, that could go a really long way. Uh, Grunt actually detonating on the Chosen, so Rock Chosen is a little bit ahead right now, but he's getting staggered, oh. and there's Jump Roots to do that some more. This is looking really spicy. Oh, we do have an NG on the field now for Rock to help defend this. I think that NG is going to be enough. The Jump Up Roots have been taken care of. Yeah, we do have... Suicide grunts as well from Rock to defend the NG, but the NG is getting caught out and it went the wrong way around the base. That's okay, there's oh, a suicide man. grunt here. Oh, right in the middle of the grunts. Ooh. And the mine defended it. But there's even more. 
Can Liam catch up? He's trying to drop in his own base, but he's so far behind in terms of the total power. Not sure he'll be able to do anything about this frog. Nearly ready to go to tier 2. He's getting turrets on his home base too. I mean, he might lose that mini base, but probably not even that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. This is looking really good for Rock right now. Oh, wait that a second. Engagement. Jump back Brutes. Oh. Jump back Brutes. Jump back Brutes from Rock Chan. He's going triple. Oh. Great camp. Ooh. Ooh. I love this build. Triple JPB is probably going to go into Dark Skies in T2. That's if he can exactly afford it. it. I mean, he wait, just picked up what? T2. No, he didn't. What? Look at Rock's second base. Yeah, that's that's going T2. Oh, that's where he's doing T2. I'm so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it, like, it gets confusing when they do this. Second? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm always confused when that happens. But he needs more slots for more raid camps, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more it builds two more. Come on. Oh my god, oh, it's no. a it's a foundry. What? Okay. That's so much production. What is going on? Is he, he switching get... all this production to the board It might base? be a reaver that he wants from there. Oh, okay. Just in case his engineers to stop the jump roots. And never mind his triple ranger, he's not doing this. What is this? Is yeah. he gonna be able to afford that after the first pump? I guess he can do two sets, and Wait. that's it. Yeah, because, yeah, he did just do those two sets, and they're on the way. I mean, yes, he's going to have units out fast enough to actually start attacking Liam's expansion here. But after that, those buildings aren't going to really do as much as he wants them to. Unless he's just, like, super min-maxing. I don't know. Oh, man, the Rangers are taking hits here from from the Chosen. Man, oh, Chosen is going to get slowed, and the slow misses. Uh, Liam's Chosen is getting caught out here. All Liam needs... Oh, my gosh, yeah. Oh, and he teleports to go for it. The teleport to the other side is going to take him out. Wait, what? How did... He tried to teleport out, but it failed as the hero died in the process. Wow. A great engagement so far. I mean, Rock is really showing why he is the number one player. Yeah, Liam is just outnumbered, outgunned, and he has not enough ego to do what he's trying. Uh, that's even just a turret and not a shield gen, so there's no saving the space. Absolutely not. I mean, Rock is killing units left and right here. We do have the NG's trying to do some cleanup to heal up the base a little bit, but I don't know. Oh! The NG's are getting taken out here by the Chosen. Too bad the Chosen can't really hit air too well. <laughs> <laughs> he's <laughs> trying, but he's in it. it's sad. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, it's the buildings themselves that are getting taken down, and Rock Gen uh, is still keeping up with the production. He's just cosplaying Pavium on this base. Don't know what's going on. Uh, but <laughs> Liam's done. Great first game between both of these excellent players here. Um, just Rock had the upper hand in this match. We will be going into a game two. Welcome to Bedrock in the blue color. We have got Rock Generation. He is playing as Pavium this time. And in the red, we have Liam White, Sir Liam, playing as Forge in the red. I guess you could say he's in the red because he lost his first match. He did. 
Yep. Red lights for Liam right now. Yup. See if he can I mean, get away from the chopper. It, he did manage. Yep. Uh, we do have Liam's beautiful, beautiful uh, Jackrabbit coming in to get some early picks. This is what he specializes in here. We saw this in the last game. But Rock is countering with a unit wiggle here to dodge the bullets while Rock's uh, chopper comes in for the rim. Ooh, and the chopper is a lot stronger than the jackrabbit, so as long as that grunt stays kind of alive, uh, you should be good to go. I mean, that's Liam some with the reverse wiggle. Oh my gosh, some impressive micro here from both players. Oh my gosh. And with um, Liam pulling in the second marine, ooh. that's the end of that. Rock has to leave. Oh my gosh. Even before that marine got there, Liam was winning that engagement. He hit more times with the uh, with the Jackrabbit than Rock probably intended. Yeah, if you put them very close to each other, the Jackrabbit will start hitting. Uh, you can't throw off the projectile enough when they're that close. But let's see about the build order. Rockgen does have the uh, two power extractors up already. A little bit slow on the minis, but uh, so is Liam, so it's fine. Yeah, I mean, he is playing... Rock is playing up against a UNSC. If those minis get stolen, it is a disadvantage to Liam because of uh, he would overbuy on the map, allowing for Rock to push across the map with some units. It is very risky to to buy your opponent's minis as UNSC on this map. Yeah, I'd say you typically just want your own and play the yeah. macro game against Banished. Yeah, buy your own. Let them, you know, build whatever they want on your third one. Usually is how it works, and then uh, just take it out. It's very difficult to play UNSC on this map. It's, just, it's a weird pick. Like you were saying at the beginning of this game, I was expecting a Yap Yap full on. <laughs> I just read chat. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. I'm the great value version of Yoda. All great right. value. <laughs> uh, so not too much going on, at least at this current moment. Uh, both players are just kind of macroing up. Uh, Rock is going to be going into a double raid camp. So, oh, he's actually burning out too here. Uh, he's going to be getting some super eco. Forge Hog is on the field. All right, here goes the four truck against the choppers. While they're low in number, you definitely want to take them on. Uh, Rock knows that he's gonna leave. Once he can build up the count a little bit, it's a very different story. I am not sure he's actually going to do that though. It, he's making the grunts. He's oh. trying to go for the side mini bases, rallying up on both sides. Yeah, I was gonna say he's just going down both of the uh, side lanes here. going for the back minis too. Rock oh. is uh, letting this rally in the middle from uh, from Liam just kind of do what it wants. I mean, he's going he's going some JRs. He's going the Forge Hog, and the Forge Hog is going to be able to protect the Jackrabbits. I mean, he has a nice little group of people here. It's like a dad and all of his sons moving across the map. <laughs> oh, they've separated. <laughs> Don't speak to me or my sons ever again. <laughs> that's that's all that's going on in my head right now. The sons have left the nest. Um, they are going over to defend the home base while the Forge Hog is just kind of chilling in mid. I guess it's preventing any map control. Yeah, I mean, nobody is really getting the notes, right? So that's, that's a huge yeah. move from Rock already. Being able to take down the minis and denying that, the two together mm -hmm. is huge. And yeah, he's gonna get two of the minis, I think. Yeah, he was I mean, stealing Liam's some. Liam's second one. Liam's second one is red bar, but his third in the very far back is being completely uncontested. I mean, it's gonna lose to two units. Interesting by Liam, by the way, that he's never upgraded his four shock. That's that's a baby four shock. 
Uh, gonna work on it, obviously, once he gets his armor going. There's gonna be more talks. Yeah. Oh, Liam's rebuying the top mini, and the Jackrab is to go and defend it, so... Maybe all is not lost just yet. Let's look at the... Solid defense, actually, from Liam here. Ooh, and the, uh... There goes the JPB. He's going up to destroy the mini again. Yeah, they'll get it, but... I mean, the Jackrabbit will get them. That's why it seems like the anti infrastructure has been shooting up, too. Uh, and on the other side, Rock has been tier 2 for a while. He's pumping out Locusts. A uh, handful of NGs and potentially a second base. Might be just a fast tier 3, though, after a bunch of units are out. But it looks to me that like Rock is committing... Getting the war council on the other side, Liam resetting his jackrabbit animations to shoot faster. Ooh. Yeah, it will be a well. while. If you're not doing anything else, might as well do more damage. Uh, hunters are coming out on rock side here. They're actually coming to the mid so side of the map here. Uh, that's going to shut down Liam's early hogs here. Yeah, hogs are already driving away home. Um, that kind of counters everything that... Liam has on the field except for like two marines yeah the hunters are terrifying dude especially yeah. with the engineer support like that is scary sauce uh we might even see a shroud from rock <laughs> yeah yeah I can see it um oh rain of fire level two on the base let's go oh my gosh it is doing so much damage to the base right now look at that he just stripped two buildings <laughs> off of it. Yeah, and the back buildings have gotten pretty weak. The turret has been heavily damaged. There's more locusts coming in, although that might be a little bit too soon. Uh, hunters are actually getting picked off thanks to the anti-infantry turret. Liam should be good to go for a while. Yeah. Um, I don't know how long he's going to be able to, you know, suffer because he just lost so much like stuff on his main and um, his units that's the jackrab is gone yeah, yeah and the hunter is still going here so the hog is not safe man um so <laughs> liam is building a sneaky base here oh he actually just canceled it why did he cancel it no one saw it is he planning on building something at home Uh, Rock is building a oh, little bit of stuff, yeah. Oh! Where? On the other side of the map. Oh, okay, that works out. The one He's gonna hit the main with it. Yeah, he just needs to deploy. If he can get this down, that's a pretty important moment for him. Now, Rock is stripping some of the buildings on Liam's main. Uh, but not currently targeting because the Forge Hog, I guess, is a little bit too scary. Um, Liam's Kodiaks have been deployed, but they're kind of shooting at Hunters. That's not going to do much damage. Not at all. Absolutely not. Uh, both of these Kodiaks are going to immediately get shut down. They are going down nice and quick. Didn't even yeah. get a building. I heard they're made of paper, so... Oh. Yeah. I think we just myth busted that. Guess, it's true. Yeah. I guess Hunters are scissors. Yeah. <laughs> And rock as well, you know. <laughs> yeah, we have rock too. We have the paper. We have the scissors. It's perfect. We got them all. Um, we are looking here. Kind of a quiet down. Both players just kind of not taking nodes, except for Liam starting to. I think he's trying to get veterancy on his forge hog. That would definitely be helpful. Liam's getting grenades, so he's potentially going to think about combat tech marines to try to defend this uh, hunter spam. It's it's a good way to do it, but with the elite rangers here, I guess the forge hog is the thing to deal with that. We're going to have a lich drop in, it looks like. I mean, Rock is going straight for the main with all units. He has his rally there, and he's saving up at least a little bit. Um, he doesn't have much power, but I can presume he's going to get that extra 300 while he's attacking here. Yeah, oh it's, no, it's he missed it. Wow. He missed the anvil. And the flame are not upgraded. Hunters. Yeah. Stay away. Um, I don't know. 
Burnout is back up. He's going to burn out to get that last extra 100 resources. We do have a scatter bomb coming down. Lag bomb, so you can't move your units. We do have enough money for a Lich. He is just waiting. He's so close for the power. The leader point is so close. He's going to rain of fire the base. Strip the buildings that he was stripping earlier. Oh my gosh. That's Oof. three buildings destroyed. There and is essentially nothing left. This locust bucks. is hitting four things at a time. There it is. There's the lich. He has the power. And Liam has no power left in him. The space wow. is going to get completely destroyed. He's trying to build something on the other side, but does it even matter? It really doesn't at this point. That is very unfortunate for Liam. We will be going momentarily into a game three. I mean, it's 16 population to 69. Nice. Yeah, Rockjan got him again. That's wow. two to one. Uh, two, two zero, actually. Two to zero. Uh, I was yeah. like, what are you talking about? I know. Uh, Leo has to get himself together for this next one. We are moving on. We got the blue color gamer. It is a rock generation playing as none other than the RB. And in the red, we have Sir Liam White, the knight, playing as Yap Yap in the red. Here it is. Here's the pick. The pick I've been waiting for. Liam's Yap Yap. He's gaming for real. Going after Absolutely. Rock's early grunts. Uh, picking him off with the with the chopper is a pretty good start. And taking the minibase in front of him too. While securing the wow. side uh sorry, the other side with the mine. Run, so that Liam run, can't run, run, Liam. There you go. He almost that. he's getting picked by the uh Wait, the cancel sentinels. the mini. Oh. Okay, yeah, the sentinels were gonna go for the mini. Looks like the cannon father him. didn't manage to share the power pile on the other side of the map, so that is unfortunate. Ooh, Rock Generation was... will be gathering all of this. Man, he is just taking everything on the map right now. Now, it will take Liam a lot longer to take stuff on the map just because of Yap Yap's grunts take like double the time to take stuff, or even more. Vigo, 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 Vigo. Dude, nice. this chopper is getting work done. Yeah, I mean, he's almost killed two grunts already. What is going on? There's another grunt. He's still wiggling it. It's not even getting shot at. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make sure. He has to be sure that that thing isn't dying. Hey, is Rock gonna steal some minis now? That could be hot, but if he overbuys, Yap Yap can punch hard. Unless, of course, Rock Generation starts making Elite Enforcers on the other side, and uh, he's... suddenly he shows up in Liam's base, that could be ugly. The second gen is an interesting play. Oh, I just saw an all units from Liam. Uh oh. Uh, straight to that power extractor that's not upgraded. It's all cannon fodder though. There's nothing too scary yet, but Grunt Riders are on the way from the center mini base. Uh, other center mini base is at the moment empty. Rock decided to not buy minis, but he's keeping the uh, grunts there, and now he's doing it. Rock is <laughs> very confident to do so. Yeah, that is a very confident play. He's going into vehicle shielding. Is he just going to go mass ghost? Indeed, he is.
Uh, Liam placing mines in. Uh, sorry, I cut off a sec. Can you repeat? Oh, I said, uh, we have mines being placed in discrete locations. Discrete locations, I like that. Discrete locations. It's literally hiding under the foliage. Epic. Yep. <laughs> you'll, never, you'll never see it coming. Even with the tech, it's not even there. Not too bad. Rock Generation is an elite gamer. He's got the ghost already upgraded. He's got a turret. Liam's gonna have trouble breaking his base, and now he's got his mini bases stolen. He's stopping the rush. And Rockchen is starting the reverse hit. Like I said, enforcers are on the menu. Yeah. And they are very nice. Oh no, I couldn't think of a pun to go with food, so. <laughs> oh. On the spot, you hit me with the menu, and I, uh. Speaking I really of spots, out. Rock did go through the mine. Oh! So it works. Let's go! Alien, what are you gonna do now? I mean, you've got some choppers, sure, but... If the choppers are facing an equal amount of enforcers, they're not gonna have a great time, actually. No. Oh! Well, that was... Yep, he, uh... He just used... Uh -huh, it's oh, okay! It's okay! Wow! Okay! <laughs> Great mines, all three connected. Oh, there's the rams. There's the counter rams. I gotta say, oh, Liam has been there. having trouble with the mines today. Absolutely. It's just not his day that way. <laughs> okay, we have some more rams coming out here from Liam. We do have rock. Just kind of. He's kind of spread out right now. Rock is not all together. One of those moments where uh, you actually have to slow down a little bit because you have too much going on on the map. Yeah, there certainly is a lot going on right now. The enforcers are kind of getting countered by the Grunt Riders, though. They, it is one of the matchups that they win. Yep. They basically do that to all the infantry in the game, so... So he's okay. They'll kill him. Interesting plays for... Oh, we have phantoms coming out of rock gen. Okay, on tier one, no less. It's gonna fill yep. several of them up with the enforcers, no doubt. Let's see what Absolutely. he can get done with that. Should be easy to go after uh, mini bases. The choppers are gonna be countered by this. And Liam doesn't have heavy grinds, so what's he really gonna do? Let's go. He is... He is like, you know, I can't win on the ground. Why not just go into the air? That's what's going on here. Oh, we have more phantoms coming to pick up some more enforcers. He's gonna really start picking off the map here. And look how many locations he's already bullying with this. Uh, unfortunately, Rock is still trying to go through those choppers in the main. That's not going to happen, but... <laughs> yeah, that would have been probably better as a uh, stopped attempt. Just make a harvester. Man, those enforcers are really starting to pick off the map here. Yeah, and two phantoms are now heading to the main. I'm not sure that's a good idea, because there's, like, three turrets there, but... He can definitely hit Liam. the mini. Yeah, Liam does also have heavy grunts to start countering the phantoms. Oh my god, yeah, there, there he goes. And there goes one of the phantoms, at least he only has oh, two left. Oh, I see. Rock has the drop, so this is gonna be super oh, powerful in a moment man. now. And we have shade turrets coming down to help with some mines on top. I don't know what the mines are doing there. Unfortunately, they, they completely the missed. Down oh go the jets! Oh, that, that is so strong. Shredded. Two buildings already destroyed before the army even arrives to defend. Mine's yeah, coming down with the Grunt Dome, Grunt Dome to protect from the ram. The power level of this drop is through the roof, absolutely, as you get the Arbiter's Champion upgrade for free. It's one of the only drops in the game Ooh. that does that. Uh, not sure actually why, but it, that's how it is. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, why not just give him a free upgrade? Why not? See, it hits super hard the earlier you drop it. Uh, and then it keeps hitting hard for a while. And they were quite safe against it. Now the mini Rock. will be taken down, no doubt. Rock is hiding one of his phantoms. He's gonna go back into it. Back hey, the, to the EMPs main. are so good. so good. If this phantom dies uh, in the negative space there, the uh, units are just gonna drop to their deaths. Nice. Good work <laughs> by Liam. Liam's frantically sending units home here. Stop more uh, more damage. Whoa. Oh, shrapnel rounds. I didn't notice that. Why does it have shrapnel rounds? I always got that like ages ago to deal with the enforcers. Because you get uh, splash damage, so okay. yeah. you hit all the free squad members. Yeah. So Liam has got like nothing left, as far as I can see. Rock has taken over the entire map. Liam tried to make heavy grunts and whatever, mm -hmm. uh, but having to remake so many of the buildings, the turrets having to be constantly remade too. He's just gonna be struggling with his production right now on 57 population with quite a few uh, cannon fodder actually. This is not great quality. Meanwhile, Rock enjoying the mini base count still on tier one by the way. Good click up tier two whenever. <laughs> Yeah, he can afford it. He just hasn't done it yet. <laughs> really surprising. I mean, he really has to focus on the micro here. I guess he can worry about T2 later. Um, letting out some more units at the main. We do have another leader point coming out for Rock Gen. Um, ooh, ooh, good beam. It didn't pick anything off though. Yeah, good split as well, but now they're gonna be boosted once more Jesus. by the stasis and that will heal them up Second extractor is gonna be picked off again. Liam just oh can't enjoy gosh. his life here No point in going t2 if your opponent can't build any t2 units because he doesn't have a gen <laughs> Just keep picking them off. We have some more mind drops from Liam but those mines, unfortunately, are not going to get picked right now because they're in the back and Rock's units are in the front. Rock lost a lot of units there. He is down below 30 population for the most part. Liam is almost above 60. Yeah, unfortunately for him, most of his stuff is just pretty basic infantry. Rock should be able to just make a handful of rangers <gasps> or even the Arbiter oh. hero would be good. Great EMP! EMP the Phantom again over the negative space. Oh, but Rock ejects. Wipe. Can yeah, you get away he from this? Oh, a sliver of health. What? Go to heal. Is that like one health or? It's what gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> Anything can shoot it. A cannon fodder could throw a uh, a rock and it would die. That's literally what happened. Yeah. Rock had a, a rock thrown at him. Yeah, a rock. Rock. Like. Like the other rock we're, we've talked about today. <laughs> uh, we do have some mines being placed down by Rock Gen on right around the shade turrets. Um, no, oh, here comes the detect to see him. He is still using Tech One units. He's just now getting the Rangers. Yeah, now that Rock can make him too, and he's got more production. I just don't see how Liam can bring this back. He's certainly trying though, but losing out on the Ranger fight. And he's got Ghost to deal with too. Oh, there comes another Phantom on top of everything. That spin from the Reaver there a second ago. Uh, Reaver is chasing down the Phantoms. Good ran from the remaining ghost to try to slow down that Reaver here. I don't actually think that ram connected. Let not the units. Yeah, connected with the mine. <laughs> yeah. 
Grunt Dome coming down to prevent any damage being oh done. Oh god, oh god, range. there's the damage oh, though. Oh no, there it comes. Oh my gosh, there goes another. Another. Three bodies to take down Harvester, bro. That's it. Oh my gosh. Liam is floating though really hard right now. Yeah, he can't spend what he's got. He's trying to drop in some units, but Ooh. unfortunately it's there not an is. upgraded one yet. Uh, yep, you're, you're absolutely right there. I mean, that Enforcer will not be getting away, but who cares? Yeah, Rock can do this all day. But Liam can't. I mean, he's been he's been cut off of power so many times this game. However, he does have the two power nodes in the middle supplying. So it is certainly not enough, but it's something. Well, 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 Liam trying to hold on to the life rock, probably thinking about the Arbiter, there it is. Yeah, that's that's really the thing that can end this game. You just send that in, you just target down the buildings, it will heal itself. Uh, you upgrade to level 2. You support that with a drop, Liam will be losing all the extractors all over. Man. So... I, man, yeah, Liam does have a bulkier army, but that doesn't really mean much at this current moment. This game's been wild. We haven't seen a single second base from either player. Mm, certainly a tough situation. If there's ever a time for Liam to do something, it is soon. It is it, right now. He needs to have done something about 20 seconds ago. <laughs> we do have an Arbiter Hero now on the field for Rock Gen. Rock Gen is getting more Phantoms up. He is really sticking to the Phantom play. Mm. Uh, we. You see Liam does have some counters for that with the heavy grunts and with the um, with the Reavers. It's a good amount of Rangers, so I think the Arbiter here is not a huge threat just yet. But as soon as Rock gets his uh, level 2 upgrade, the Rage Incarnate, it's going to be a very different story. Yep, this is... Oh, is Liam pushing? Oh, Liam thinks there's a second base. This is going to give him a real confidence boost here in a moment when he sees there's no base here. However, I do not agree with him pushing with this entire army, just assuming there's a base here when he hasn't scouted it yet. Um, he's just going to start pushing. Look at that. Arby is still picking off a raid camp to deny some reinforcements. Liam is taking a second base after seeing that Rock does not have one. How many phantoms is that? Oh my goodness. What is Rock building up for? <laughs> is, what's he throwing in those? Is he just throwing in like... He's throwing in enforcers. He's just gonna strip a main or something. This is getting spooky. Especially with all the conduit plays he can do at like 17 minutes. There's gonna be a lot of that, especially with the hero also mm -hmm. out. He's currently going after the Extractor. Oh, the beam hitting, however, all of the Elite Enforcers. But nice split by Rock Ooh. saves them all. Uh, not all. Sorry. I think they got killed. Uh, he needs to move those cannon fodder out of the base. He's just losing shield damage right now. There you go. Oof. I want to mine that nade. taking out. Liam's... Oh my gosh, dude. Those mines uh, with the conduit just shredded that expansion. The mini base is next. No heroes allowed for Liam. He's almost full of population, but he has a lot of cannon fodder still. It's not great. Yeah, he needs to get rid of that cannon fodder, send it as a base or something right now. Oh, but he's sending it straight at all of the phantoms. And these heavy guns really take that on. It's not that many of them. They Ooh. have some EMPs, of course. You gotta pick. But what I if think Rock... heavy guns can do it, as long as the EMPs. 
What if Frog just stands and fights with all of them? I don't know. I I feel like it would give Liam more of a chance to build more heavy grunts to kill this army. Because that EMP does last for a while. That's true. Uh, Rock's now gonna have an expansion in a moment, but Liam has made some secret ones. <laughs> See if it pays being a ninja. I will say, Rock does see one of those two expansions. Yeah, RB is also taking out the melee base, so he can he can link up with the ghost there. Oh, there's a there's a phantom. Yeah, phantom's gonna come in, clean it up, and then go about its day. He's really just building a poke army at this point. In the other base now with all of these phantoms. Oh my goodness, they're gonna fully heal up. Especially during this, please don't shoot me. He's got the time to to go over the healing zone. Maybe even fly over to the main if he super wants to. At least Spirit yeah. Assault is ready to go, but so will be Beam. Arby to start doing damage to that shield it looks like at the main trying to you know take it at least a little bit out it's a good start but this army will need some way to heal up as he's getting real low yeah oh trying to oh, run away oh, Viggle, Viggle, Viggle. Oh, oh. <laughs> what he used the last possible second to get out of there and it worked Wait, can go how? to heal up now doesn't he have a siphon Oh, no, no, Conduit, okay. Yeah, it was just Conduit. Say, is, he pulling a, uh, is he pulling a Decimus here? Is he healing out of combat? It's just Conduit. Oh my god, this... <laughs> this Phantom Fleet oh just flying through gosh, here. here it comes. And here comes the Elite Enforcer drop. And we have a... We have mines and a beam going into this. Okay. Oh, the that, phantoms that are going in the beam. Yep. That oh, hurts no. them a lot. That's exactly the thing that Liam needed right now. Oh my gosh, the phantoms are moving at top speed here with uh with conduit. But that one reaver is an reaver? absolute hero, dude. It's taken down several of the phantoms already, and it's not finished. Now it is. While this is going on, like what? I, I don't like this engagement at all for Rock. Maybe Rock's just trying to get rid of units? Yeah, I also I don't mean, fully understand it. I mean, he's not tier 3. I don't think he's on the way to tier 3. He's just gonna switch to Locust now. Liam has done a fantastic job finning this army. The Phantoms are gone, dude. Of course, Arby what? is enjoying what he's doing uh, as he fully yeah. heals up from just Conduit. Oh, well, almost fully. I don't. <gasps> the counterattack! Rock oh! lost the base! That's a big drop from Liam, and he can keep going with this. Find other bases to Is destroy. Is Liam turning the tides? Maybe. It's certainly a start of something, but Arbiter does get stronger as the game goes by. Let's see if Liam can somehow reach tier 3. I don't think he can because he just doesn't have a base. And more phantoms are bullying the other base. Oh, wait. He does have a fully upgraded base there. So maybe, maybe that one is uh, going to stay up after all. See, momentarily here. Both players trying to trade for another base. There is an engagement going on on every single base except for Rock's main right now. Yeah, every but Rock being here with three Locusts, this is insane. Yeah, this is going to do some serious damage. We do have some Reavers jumping up to do some damage to a Locust, doing everything he can to stop these or even slow them down. Arbiter is raging. out a Locust with Reavers. It's working. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Who knew the counter to Locust all along was Reavers? 
it is known now. Confirmed by Rock Jet. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is a heck of a base trade going on right now. Uh, well, Rock now has Arbitus Champion on the regular Enforcers as well. Not sure how long he's had that for, but that's ripping this base a new one, that's for sure. Absolutely, I mean... This is, uh... If this engagement continues on... Oh, we have an Enforcer drop on Liam's main yet again to take out another... <laughs> he took out two Extractors here. That oh, wow. Liam... Oh, my God. Gosh, the damage. The yeah, plasma bolts are real good against buildings these days. That's, and uh, This base is stripped. Rip. Wow, I think that's game. Oh my gosh. And we have a methane party going on on Liam's ex uh, third base, his expansion out there. Nice um, party. Too bad there's no one to benefit as Liam's other units were not invited. Yeah, a party of one. Yeah. Wow, Liam's uh, third base is basically one hit. His first base is destroyed and his second base has nothing on it. I feel like Rock's uh, splitting of Enforcers this entire game is starting to pay off. A hundred percent, dude. Like, he just played this so, so nicely. Um, it really looks like Liam is just gonna have to go into the bronze round here. Because his opponent is already waiting there. Strike is gonna be the man. And we've got a Rock Generation versus Amran. The finals coming up, a best of seven. Now, if that's not gonna be epic, then nothing is. <laughs> yeah, the, the best players in the game going against each other. Oh, that bronze match is a uh, best of five as well. It is a best I'll of be five, really just sure. like this. I didn't know that. So we get four Gs from Liam. Uh, quick, like please don't shoot me. Uh, understandable, Rock has shot him a lot of times already, so. <laughs> Will you please stop, Rock? Thanks. Just stop shooting him. He's already on the ground. <laughs> He's already dead. <laughs> stop. We want to thank our MetaPlace website subscribers. Your contribution helps us keep the project sustainable. Hitting our next goal will allow us to hire a video editor with your help. Check out the subscription page with the link in the description. And remember to collect your perks. We will see you in the next video.